what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel elevate your energy it's jazzy so happy moon day you guys happy freaking moon day so another early read for you um this reading is a little bit different so this one is a new spread that i literally just came up with this morning um so i hope y'all rock with me on this one so this is um going to be a spirit reading this is going to be a crystal medicine reading okay and um so basically what we're doing here is i'm finding out from spirit what is the um, the crystal that you that will be most beneficial for you at this time okay or um, and you know the event or the lesson or whatever it's you know the ceremony um, that it could teach you at this time okay so um, and this is timeless all right so when you come across this reading that's what it's meant for you this isn't for a specific time frame um, because we all know time is fluid if you don't know by now <laughs> you will know very soon so um, anyway I pre-shuffled all the cards um, as you already seen, so I laid them all out. I haven't looked at any of them yet. So as I flip them all over, then we'll just get into the reading. I got advice from Spirit, um, some blunt advice towards the end, and I even got a bonus for y'all at the end, at the very end. So stick around for that. Okay, so <sighs> um so yes. Happy Moon Day. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Um, it definitely helps the channel grow. Um and also, if you like my vibe, consider giving the video a like, okay? Um, hang it with your girl. Grab something to drink, okay? This morning, I got Celsius, all right? Um, it was kind of like all I had in the fridge, and I started to go to the store before I started, but I was like, eh, you know, I'll just wait. So, anywho, let's get into this reading, all right? So, the first, um, the crystal message that you have today is celebration. Wow. So, celebration. Um sacred ceremony red jasper is the crystal and this card is representative of the number four okay so i am going to read from the book this um book can be a little lengthy but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna dive that deep into it but i am gonna get the what i feel um spirit wants you guys to know about this card though so it can um you know benefit you the way it's supposed to so let's see um, so this is a time of celebration, okay? The journey of life has its ups and downs and we feel like we're constantly striving for the next goal. You've entered a, a phase of celebration and it's time to acknowledge your achievements. You've been putting a lot of energy into your projects and doing incredibly well. Today, it's time to recognize how far you've come and how amazing you are. So um, throughout history, celebration has been a big part of life with, with ceremonies created to acknowledge things such as harvest times and rites of passage. And mind you guys, we just had a harvest full moon, right? So that is, you know, the release right before everything um, that we've been working for actually starts to sprout, actually starts to come to harvest and fruition, right? So take note of this, guys, okay? This is, this is perfect for who those of you this resonates with, okay? Take note of this. There's something that you guys are celebrating. You're about to celebrate or you are celebrating, okay? So um, people through the ages understood that celebration was an important part of the ending of a cycle and an opportunity to receive the fruits of their labor. Wow. So have you been striving and achieving and not honoring yourself in the process? Do you feel like all you do is work and never play? Are you always serious? Have you lost the magic in your life? Well, now it's time to stop for a moment and bring in the energy of joy and celebration. It's extremely important for you to take this time to give back to you, to say thank you for who you are in this world and all you bring to the table. So what do you do that allows you to feel celebrated? Taking yourself on a holiday, organize a night out with your friends, go and buy yourself a present, whatever it is, make sure you get back to you and celebrate and rejoice in being you, okay? So the crystal red jasper, it helps to create a sacred space. It will align you to the joy of life and it assists in honoring of the ancestors, okay? So this crystal helps you in it. And honestly, this is this book gives a very um, minimal um, meanings behind red jasper so I highly suggest um, that those of you like I said that this makes sense with or um, if a crystal if you've been needing to do some maybe root work meaning like on your sacral I mean your root chakra work at all um, this crystal is really good for that as well and that's what the four okay is representative of is foundation our home our um, um, you know our house right our foundation our, our body you know even because that's that's a foundation as well so um so ceremony okay so this they give you also ask, la, 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 la. <laughs> it gives you a ceremony to do as well so if you want to participate then um you can do this to help you celebrate 
your life, right? Decide on what in your life requires celebration. Create some space, some spare time for your celebration. Gather objects that will help you celebrate. For example, instruments, other objects um, to make sounds, feathers, and crystals. Write a prayer or find a song that relates to your celebration. Set your intention and then allow yourself to be creative and expressive and celebrate your achievements. That's dope. So yeah, this is um, definitely a time I feel like for some of you that really needs to give yourself more credit for how far you've come, okay? For how how much you've healed is what, is what Spirit's giving me. How much you've healed, how much you've gone through and literally have come through on the other side when you didn't think that you could, when you didn't think that you had any more in you, any fight left in you. It's like you're coming out on the other side. And that is something to fucking celebrate. Excuse my French. Not really. But anywho. All right. So a few questions here. What do you know? What do you know about this? Oh, nine of pentacles. Interesting. So this is definitely some of you are definitely achieving something. Okay. Um, wow. This is beautiful. So this could definitely be something that you're like coming into like money okay this could definitely be um financially related where you're coming into like a windfall of money maybe winning the lottery this could be um my condolences if it's an inheritance but that's really not the energy i'm getting here at all it's you know i'm saying it because it came up but that's really not what i'm feeling here what i'm more so feeling is um, something that you've, uh, that some of you have accomplished on your own, you've done it and, and it was like a solo dolo thing. It was like a solo journey. Okay. And I feel like some of you just haven't really been giving yourself enough credit for how much you've completed, how much, how far you've gotten, how far you've gone, um, with certain things. Maybe you didn't, it's something you've never tried or something maybe, um, didn't know too much about, didn't know what you know the outcome would be but still you know what i'm saying push forward through that and it's looks like it's rewarding you very freaking well that's fucking awesome actually all right so let's see what don't you know about the celebration so this is something you've been waiting on i feel like this is something that maybe you um however this came to be i feel like it's it's something that you weren't sure if it would pay off i feel like you it's something you maybe got bored with um and maybe almost gave up on because you just weren't feeling like like it was gonna pay off i feel like some of you it was kind of like you were waiting and you were bored but you stuck with it because you had already invested so much you've already invested time energy effort um you know ideas resources whatever it's like it's like i feel like some of you almost gave up you almost gave up on it but you're being celebrated and if you haven't celebrated whatever this is yet this is spirit saying that you've already invested enough so you know don't turn your nose up to i feel like that last step that the universe is trying to you know boost you to to get to this ending to get to this celebration energy okay this finality here all right so for those of you that it resonates with if you've already gone through this i feel like this is the energy that you didn't know that you know is this something you weren't expecting to happen you weren't expecting for it to be to end well is what i'm getting here you weren't expecting for maybe your hard work and your your efforts and you know whatever you were hoping for you didn't expect it to actually pay off for you and um i feel like it's something you were waiting a, quite a while for you were trying to be very patient and I feel like some of you maybe were really bored, really kind of disappointed. Like, why is this taking so long? Why is it taking so long? And it was just a matter of, you know, giving the universe time, you know, giving the, giving the time to work its magic and do its thing for you. Okay. So the challenge here is the Knight of Swords. Okay. So this could be, um, you know, something happening really quickly, quick communication coming in. Um, I'm not going to say that someone's trying to come in and ruin your celebration um but there could be energy around you of arguments or you know people talking before they um think you know what i'm saying like you know how they say think before you speak I f this is what that energy is giving me okay that this is what the challenge is, is is someone could be coming in here let's get more information on that and it could be this king of pentacles energy okay that's here at the bottom of the deck could be someone who's um financially stable define what's the knight of swords Clarify the Knight of Swords with the challenge. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords, please. The challenge. It's Knight of Swords. Whoa. 
Knight of Pentacles. Wow, so two knights here. So it's like, it's like, hurry up to slow down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like, um, mm, I feel like someone could be rushing in to offer you some type of stability. Like someone could be coming in really quickly. Um, maybe because you've come up on some type of money you're celebrating something and that could be what someone's rushing in now someone's coming in to maybe offer you something that they should have offered you a long time ago so i'd be careful about that okay um for any of those of you that are a magician yeah this is something you've definitely manifested um and look at this shit four wands at the bottom that's also celebration and this is a four four okay so some of you might be seeing 44 that could be of significance to some of you okay so um keep your eyes peeled for that all right let's get outcome energy here Ooh, three of swords in reverse yes so i feel like some of you are really in celebration of healing okay healing healing your heart okay completing like literally um releasing okay some of you are really celebrating the release of heartbreak the release of the pain that you've experienced the pain that i feel like something or someone some parts of your life has has caused and i feel like someone that's what this energy is is someone could be rushing in um trying to offer you something because you're celebrating it's like when people feel your pullback of your energy that's when they want to come forward and try to grab you before you get away you know, say, you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's this is something you've been waiting on this could also just be if this is talking about finances because we got pentacles all around here this could definitely also be you know um something you thought would take a long time to come it's coming faster than you thought is also what i'm getting here for some of you if that resonates something's coming in quickly and you thought it was going to take a long time but it's not it's here to stay okay um and that's that, that i mean but this is in the challenge okay so it could be like i said something that you maybe wanted to come in quickly but it could be taking a, a you know a little longer than you thought all right and that's why this is talking about here is that it's something you're waiting on okay you're waiting on this energy and you're getting bored waiting for things to change maybe waiting um for whatever this is to celebrate whatever payout you see what i'm saying so sometimes this is you know you just gotta celebrate anyway don't wait you know wherever you don't have to wait don't you know celebrate early that's how you manifest okay by pretending acting being as if you already have it right that's how we get to the next step of what we want okay so let's see what advice spirit has Ooh, so we have freedom live wild and free choose your freedom claim your independence passion do what excites you get fired up about your life increase your energy levels yes so this is definitely you know that's what this nine of pentacles energy here is what i'm getting is with this freedom card okay is is you know really deciding to to do you to be honest do you focus on yourself focus on on you know what you're bringing in what you're like bringing into your life what you're trying to manifest where you're going where you're heading okay celebrate how far you've come don't tie yourself to the things of the past and, and i feel like that's what a lot of you are doing and if that's you where you're finally releasing because this is outcome energy where the pain is the pain is gone okay the release you know it's like the healing the healing now we don't have to you know uh we're coming out of that energy out of that painful energy and that's definitely something to celebrate so i feel like for some of you, you get please give yourself more credit that is so much more important than um i think a lot of people realize people realize how much more important giving yourself credit and and counting the small wins not counting but like acknowledging the small wins how important and long that goes like how far that goes how much that benefits you i think more people would do it but you know we're all on our journey right so then we have boundaries and wisdom okay so we have 12 and 22 here so that's a three and a four all right so boundaries and wisdom so i feel like this is definitely a spirit telling you set boundaries where you need to okay i don't care who it's with family friends lovers whoever may be trying to challenge you trying to come in quickly to offer you something long term and stable because you're finally celebrating you know doing shit on your own okay getting your own money getting your own uh financial wealth and, and independence okay it's going to be important for you to set boundaries because 
you have wisdom, you have knowledge, okay? You need to stand on that. How she's standing on that, stand on your wisdom, stand on your experiences and what it's taught you, okay? Because a lot of you are healing right now, okay? So don't let whatever challenges that come your way that try to derail you at all, stand on your wisdom and what you know to be true, what you know you've experienced and gone through, to not let that shit happen again, okay? I really feel like that's what Spirit's saying here is um you know setting your boundaries based off the wisdom that you have you know what you need to do so it's it's time for you to really apply that knowledge like knowledge isn't isn't anything if it's not applied okay we can know a lot of things but when you don't apply it where it's needed when the opportunity presents itself it ain't shit it doesn't do you any good right so we have everyone has value so this is including you okay don't let anyone make you feel like you're like you're not good enough or you know your small wins ain't shit but at the same time don't make this is also spirit saying don't make others feel like that either okay everyone has value big or small everyone has value so treat others how you want to be treated right possess self-confidence yes 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 so this is exactly what this is talking about and as you continue to celebrate yourself okay take time to you know celebrate you know the little things celebrate you made it another month you made it you know i paid my bills i was able to pay my bills on my own another month or you know i was able to do the the, the, the little things that we take for granted that's the shit that we need to take more um you know more account for and and you know be more grateful for okay and as you continue to do that that self-confidence will increase it will improve it will get better all right so let's see what blunt advice spirit has for today you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Yes. Okay. Don't use it for dumb shit, guys. It's the only reason I'm here to use my voice for good, right? Then we have you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. All right. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Because a lot of people ain't made it. And they're not going to make it, unfortunately. So stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. Yes. And I feel like that's exactly what Spirit's talking about. Okay, when you possess self-confidence, you're able to, to strengthen yourself to do what needs to be done. And that, again, comes with that the center, which is the center of this reading, is celebrating. Celebrating yourself. Celebrating how far you've come, what you've accomplished, what you've achieved up until this point is like that shit matters and if you don't think it matters now there will come a point where it will matter trust me okay whatever you're thinking about don't do it now is not the fucking time okay whatever that is all right guys so bonus this is something different i haven't seen any other reader do this yet so yes so we're gonna i'm gonna give you guys a freaking workout okay i'm gonna give you a workout routine to do all right so this tarot deck is specifically for workouts and it's from your girl Calfi, Kristen Calfi. for those who know she is the creator of hit tarot no this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form we are not friends or anything like that so don't get it fucked up i just like the uh the idea and i want to incorporate it in my readings because i use them i work out daily and i feel like um as we continue to celebrate ourselves okay that's all inclusive is self-love is including moving your body and getting that energy moving and getting that uh stagnated energy um you know moving and and you know uprooted and out and you know what i'm saying send it back out into the universe right to transmute it that's how you do that so the three that i end up choosing today randomly right are all happen to be power cards all right so the first one um, is a switch lunge so all these cards by the way they have qr codes to um, link them to the video to show you how to do the exercise if you're unsure however i'm gonna do you one better because you don't have the cards i'm gonna leave the link to the videos in the description box that way if you guys so want to challenge yourself and engage and involve yourself in this uh fun workout here at the end of this video then you have the links so you could quickly see how to do the um each exercise right and then um so i picked three cards okay so this three card is a three card classic circuit you don't have to do all of them but that's you know how many i picked for the um for this read so you do each one each exercise for 30 seconds each and you do three sets of each okay 
so and trust me why y'all think like oh that's not that bad blah 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 when i started doing these some of these it was like oh fuck no like I, your, your girl got tired okay but it, it's hit and that's why they're in small increments like that because it's hit you do them non-stop there's no rest in between um so all right so the first one is power switch lunge so yeah power switch lunge so like I said, I will leave the links to these in the description so you guys can check them out if you'd like and just to see. And then you'd be like, oh, I know how to do that, right? Because sometimes the pictures describe it and sometimes it's a little hard to tell, you know, what to do. So pogo jumps, power pogo jumps. And the third one is shooting hoops. So it's like a squat, jump into shooting a basketball. And I think these are dope because they really do get your heart racing and do get your body pumping and going and it's fun, you know, to use if you actually have the deck because you, you're, it's intended for you to like really put your energy into it and decide, like think, you know, visualize the type of body you want to have. And then spirit will give you cards that, you know, support that, that support the, the image that you seek to have, right? So anywho, that is what I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um... Like I said, this is a crystal, um, a crystal medicine reading. So it is intended, like I said, for the collective. It is timeless. Um, I, I might start sticking some type of time frame to them or maybe like make it do it as a monthly thing. If you guys did enjoy it, please let me know in the comments. Um, I don't bite, I promise, you know, but I do like to see what people enjoy, what you're drawn to. This is something that I literally randomly created this morning. Um, spirit gave it to me and I just rolled with it and recorded it so I hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know and so I can either continue to do more or I can switch it up do something different um, I obviously do these you know to inspire you guys but I don't want to waste my time either you know and I could put it towards something something else if that would be more helpful so anywho thank you guys so much for your time and your energy and um, like I said, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And in the meantime, please prepare oh, for winter, you guys. Make sure you have enough food. Make sure you have enough water. Make sure you have... Um, sorry, you guys. So like I was saying, um, make sure you stock up on water, clean water, food. Um, I'm talking food that can last up to 25 years, like your rice, your beans, your quinoa, your chia seeds. Chia seeds can be grown into microgreens. Like, I feel like I should do a video on just this alone. If you guys would like that, please let me know in the comments below. Um, this is preparation for a dark winter, uh, you know, a hard winter with uh, food shortages, water shortages, um, you know, short supply. And a lot of people are not prepared, okay? Um, it's a lot. I know it's a lot and it's heavy. So just try to, like I said, keep your spirits lifted, you guys. That's why I'm, you know, doing my best to take care of myself so I can um, have the energy to put into doing readings like this for you guys. Because for me, the way I work, if I, if my energy ain't right, I'm not recording. I'm not putting that energy out to the universe or um, for you guys to open yourself up when you listen to these readings. I'm very considerate in that way. So that's why um, my schedule, my recording schedule in it isn't as... Um, consistent yet as I'd like it to be but that's why as I am continue to work and prepare in you know these ways for my family outside of you know YouTube and you know doing you know my work and stuff like that I have to take care of myself and my energy as well and if my energy isn't right it's not going to be right for these readings it's not going to make sense it's just not going to resonate it's it's just it just all of it isn't it won't be right and I don't I don't work like that so Anywho, um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. So, um, yeah, please take care of yourselves. Take care of your mind, your spirit, your body. Say positive affirmations. Send love out into the universe. Um, faith over fear, you guys. Faith over fear. Love over fear. Okay, over everything. All right. So, um, take care, you guys. Keep your spirits lifted. Stay inspired. Inspire someone else. And until next time, you guys, I'm outie. <laughs>